Hey everyone, how's it going? Bowser the Healer here, and let's talk preservation combos. A lot of people have asked me for a guide on this, and I wanted to give you guys something updated, ready for season three, so that you're good to go. Combos are the bread and butter of what make preservation a good healer. So I'm gonna go over how a combo works, some of the examples of how you can use moves, and then a couple of my favorite combos so you can write them down and have some go-tos while you're learning. And hey, if you like healing content, get subscribed. It would mean the world to me. We are very close to 10,000. We're only at 6,000 subscribers right now. And it's only been a year. So I want to hit that 10K goal. Probably not this year, but soon. So hey, it mean a lot to me if you hit the sub button and the like button if you like the content. But let's get into it. Combos have three parts. I like to categorize them at least into three parts. Preparation, cash out, and cleanup. Preparation is when you're getting echoes on everyone and preparing to cash it out. And cashing it out, of course, is when you spend a heal to burn all of those echoes and get your heal. Now, it's not quite that simple because preparation can also be throwing out living flames and getting essence burst or using your verdant embrace to get call of Ysera and have a bigger dream breath. So there can be a little bit more that goes into this. The third part is cleanup. Cleanup is when you're fixing any of the heals that you miss. So let's say we did a nice big Dream Breath combo here, um, but then I miss this player over here, right? Uh, maybe I'm going to hit the two players I miss with an Echo, hit Verdant Embrace, and that tiny little Cleave combo will clean up our heals. But then you'll also notice I have my Ysera's buff back up. So if I were to say have another Dream Breath or one Sword in Stasis, I could then chain that into another combo. If this sounds like fighting games, it's important to note I do come from the fighting game world, but it really does work like that in fighting games. If you have a go-to combo, you should use that go-to combo whenever you get an opening. However, sometimes you're not handed a perfect opening and you gotta make something work from what you got. And that describes preservation perfectly. You're gonna wanna have some go-tos, but you're gonna wanna know how this works. Now, cleanup is interesting because there's also two moves to talk about that assist with cleanup. Echo itself is a heal. And, you know, it's not a bad heal. A crit for 46k is nothing bad. It's not fantastic. However, it puts an echo on someone. So let's say this player took damage after I cleaned up that player, and now both players are healed. So this is a really nice way to respond to damage coming in. So just drop echoes as needed, and then continue on with your day whenever the next bit of damage comes in. But also, I can't really demonstrate it super well, but a full charge fire breath, or even just a partial fire breath, is an amazing heal as the way we're talented 80 percent of this damage will convert to healing so that almost 1 million damage number we just saw 80 percent of that is healing and 800 something k heal onto the whole party that's a lot so that's a great heal but you can use that as a heal and a damage move without expending any of your echoes so that's what makes it such a an efficient cleanup move now i want to go over some of the combos that we will use our, our healing spells for and kind of where I use them. But before we do, let's talk tanking real quick. Reversion is the best tank heal in the game. Due to Golden Hour healing 15% of damage taken in the last five seconds, it does wonders on tanks. But even if tanks have healed up the damage that they took in the last five seconds, Golden Hour still works. You can't really get rid of the Golden Hour damage. It will fall off in five seconds. So as long as they've taken the damage recently, you can even hit them with two reversions back to back. And if it was a lot of damage that they took, you'll do a lot of healing. I have hit a Blood DK Season 2 in Avarice for almost a million with Golden Hour. So it's quite the fun button. If you're trying to uh, get some crazy single target healing parsing and raid, uh, hit reversions on your tank and uh, you'll do some crazy healing. Okay, starting off, I want to talk about the two most important moves, Spirit Bloom and Dream Breath. These are both naturally very large AoE. Spirit Bloom requires you to charge it up to hit three to four allies, and Dream Breath requires you to put people in a cone to heal them. However, they're kind of always online for that. You don't need to combo these moves to get some use out of them. So let's say you just did a big combo, and then you want to pop Verdant Embrace, and then hit Dream Breath for your Call of Ysera. That's fine healing. That's not a bad thing to have no real combo running. So maybe you're using it as cleanup or to help you get situated for another big heal. I wouldn't overstress it. What I would stress is trying not to spend Dream Breath and Spirit Bloom at the same time unless you have to. I like to layer these heals so that one's almost always coming up after I've used another one so that I'm not high and dry with no spells left um, in the bank. Stasis is a really nice way to manage this, by the way. Try to fit a combo into your stasis. 
you can either start with a temporal anomaly to make the heal bigger, or you can end with the temporal anomaly to set your next combo up for you. And given that stasis doesn't go away until you've powered it up with a few moves, you can actually set up, say, a dream breath, an echo, a temporal anomaly. And now we have a quite a beefy combo in here. And let's say people take damage, I can hit stasis, and then I'll have set up a couple of echoes for the road, and then I can cash those out with something else later. Stasis is one of our best friends in this regard. So use Stasis, Dream Breath, and Spirit Bloom often, but make sure you're not running out of them when you need them for certain mechanics. Make sure you know when and how to tap into your other resources. Speaking of your other resources, let's go over one of the other complicated heals, Emerald Blossom. The raiding Emerald Blossom build that goes Field of Dreams and Cycle of Life isn't great. I know no one likes to hear that in dungeons, but the Blossom build in dungeons is kind of terrible. It's not mana efficient. It's not healing efficient. And timing cycle of life with mechanics is awful. So I don't normally recommend that one, although you can make it work. I don't know if it's worth making it work. However, Ouroboros will let you use Emerald Blossoms in a very fun way because these stacks don't ever fall off. So you can fully power an Emerald Blossom up to 150% potency. And if you throw a Temporal Anomaly, and then drop an Emerald Blossom, say when you don't have any Spirit Bloom or Dream Breath available, you can get a gigantic chunky heal out of an Emerald Blossom. It'll, it's nice, it'll save your life when the going gets rough, and I highly recommend it. Verdant Embrace is the next move to talk about. It's instant, it'll jump you to a target. If you're near the target, it won't let you jump at all, it'll just do the heal. However, do know if you get knocked out of Verdant Embrace by something, it won't heal anyone. So just be careful with that, but this sets up Life Bind which is where we use our Emerald Communion combo. Essentially, if you give a few people Echoes, and then you Vern Embrace someone, and then you hit your Emerald Communion, you're gonna be doing a ton of healing to those targets and anyone else that your heals are spilling over to. So this is a great combo, and you can use this in either mass AoE with Echoes on everyone, or just two to three targets in an emergency situation and get a lot of work done. Living Flame is the last real heal to talk about here, the Living Flame is a great heal now. It is no longer bad. In Season 1, a lot of players said it wasn't good. It is good. I highly recommend you use Living Flame these days. With the way we're talented, not only does it do a lot of damage, it does a lot of extra healing. So while it does have a cast time and you can mitigate this with the Talon Ancient Flame, it's doing work. And for a budget heal, it gets a lot done. Furthermore, this is how you get Essence Burst. So cashing out a Living Flame on an Essence Burst can give you, or on a Temporal Anomaly, excuse me, can give you, look at that, two Essence Burst. And that could be Emerald Blossoms, that could be Echoes, you name it. Lots of healing right at your fingertips. So it's a, it's a low budget heal that can provide a ton of resources. It's not what I would use in an emergency, but it's quite good. And so let's go over a couple of good example combos. Now, when it comes to cleave heals, my favorite, of course, is to echo one to two targets and then Verdant Embrace a third, or Verdant Embrace one of the more hurt targets. Verdant Embrace heals pretty heavily, and the two Echo targets will receive the full potency of that Verdant Embrace. It's instant, it's quick, and it's a good way to move around too, and it sets you up for a big Dream Breath if you're running Call of Ysera, so it's one of my favorites. I also really like using Living Flame in a Cleave combo, because again, you, it's, a, it's a nice little cash out budget option, so you're not spending a ton of mana and you're not spending a ton of resources. Echo Reversion's a really nice combo, and it looks really silly on these training dummies. However, this is a good combo when you want to also heal a tank. So let's say everyone took a small amount of damage, but the tank is eating like three tank busters, and, and it's kind of hurting over there. You can echo some targets or echo the tank, and then reversion a few of your teammates that need help, and you will do a nice chunky heal to your tank. You can also set this one up beforehand by simply putting an echo on the tank when you know they're about to take damage, and then see who you can put a reversion on in addition, or you can just echo reversion the tank and they'll take two of them and it'll be a ton of healing. So that can be a nice cleave heal and uh, a bit of an option select for you fighting game players because uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of crossover with, do you want to spend this on just the tank or do you want to spend this on multiple people? And that brings me to a final point before I go into these big combos. When you throw a Temporal Anomaly and you put echoes on targets, this buff lasts Upwards of 20 seconds. You have 20 seconds to cash out. So you can hold on a combo and do other things. So my lazy way of doing healing is I'll go into a pull, throw a Temporal Anomaly, 
echo a target or two. That way, four to five echoes exist at a time. And then I do damage. Like, I stop worrying about it. And then, okay, the echoes, uh, the echo period's almost up. Cash it out with a dream breath. Get some heals rolling in case damage comes in. Cash it out with a reversion. Heal the tank and just give everyone a little heal over time. You don't actually have to make a big deal out of it. Maybe you're just blasting and you cash it out with a living flame to get more essence burst so you can hit disintegrate more. That's fine too. You have options with these combos, so make sure you use them. And of course, the big AoE combos are your Emerald Communion combo with a Temporal Anomaly and Echoes, right? One of the best heals in the game. It's massive. There's very few things that will survive um, or rather not survive while that combo's running. So I like to keep that one around. I also really, really like Dream Breath and Spirit Bloom. Although Dream Breath is the one I go for more here because the five target Dream Breath with Echoes is just so much healing. It's 16 seconds of doing whatever the heck you want. I really like that. And of course, Emerald Blossom's the other one I really, really like. I try to use that one because what's nice about Emerald Blossom is you can pop it, press it, and then start performing another action and the heal will go off a moment later. It's fun, it looks cool, and if everyone's stacked up, especially a good melee comp, this is a great way to heal all of them. And my final piece of advice for all of you is throw the Temporal Anomaly out, echo some targets, and then chill. I know that sounds a little scary, but you can react so much better by just waiting for some incoming damage, doing damage yourself, and then cashing out the move when it's actually time to get some healing done. Not only does this provide you some free uptime for some damage, but when you're learning healer, this lets you really see when you need to do your healing and when you don't. If players are falling over before you have a chance to react to them, they probably made a mistake. Like probably something else has happened to them. Like something didn't get kicked or they stood in a swirly. So this is a great way to learn because you will simply react, see the kind of damage that people take and learn where your combos go. But I think Dream Breath is the button to fixate on, if you will because you can on the fly adjust this to become a more powerful heal. So if you're new and you're really struggling, always try to start with Dream Breath. And I think you'll start exploring other combos as you don't have Dream Breath ready and you need to heal people. And my final final note is just tip the scales. Tip the scales is a great emergency heal because it'll turn your, uh, it's OGCD, you can activate it whenever, as long as you're not casting. And you can use this with Fire Breath for a heal and for damage. Use this with Spirit Bloom for a very fast heal or Dream Breath if uh, the world is ending and you really need a heal right now. And hey, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this has helped you at least understand preservation a little bit more and become more comfortable with the idea of combos. Remember, they're not always perfect. They're not always clean. And sometimes you got to make a bad situation work in your favor. And there's no better way to do it than with combos. So. If you have any questions, stop by my stream. I'll play preservation basically any day to kind of show you some examples live and you can ask me anything and always feel free to drop down in the comments. I'll be reading them all later. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, friends.